You're watching Lesson 1, Hantawasa, How to Draw Circles. He is one of my favorite artists. The first time I came across his artwork was at the Washington, D.C. National Museum of Art. Since then, I have followed his artwork all around the world. Now I'd like you to learn about him. But first, we need to learn to draw like he did. As you look at his artwork, what is one shape? One shape that comes up time and time again. I know you know it. What's the name of the shape? Look closer and tell me what the shape is. What if I help you? Do you see it now? What's that shape? Come on, you know it. If you said circle, you're absolutely right. So let's learn how to draw a circle so we can be like Hantawasser. Did you know? that he believed in the three R's, reuse, reduce, and recycle. He was considered a conservationist. He believed in working in harmony with Mother Nature, recycling, working together with the planet. Today, a tiny bit of his vision resides in his beloved Kawakawa. In the final year of his life, Hundertwasser worked closely with his community to transform its humble public toilets into a magical piece of architecture. He took this project very personally. He was down here every day and trying to get everyone else involved as well. He went up to the college and the primary school and got the children to make all the tiles and all the bricks he tried to get locally. He went round all the local uh, bottle dumps and picked up all the bottles for the walls. And at the end of the day, when it was all finished, he actually said he thought that this was the best work he had ever done. Let's be like Hantawasser. Let's reuse, reduce, and recycle. What you're going to need to find is some old paper, the kind that you would throw away. Make sure it's not important because we're going to be using this to practice drawing circles. Grab a pencil and an eraser, turn the paper over, and let's get started. Did you know that there are two ways to hold your pencil? A way for when you're writing, Holding your pencil like this is absolutely the right way when you're writing letters. But when you're drawing, you want to hold your pencil up and down, just like this. Here, let me explain to you more by showing you. Notice that when I'm writing with my pencil, my hand is kind of going across the paper. That works great for writing. But when I want to draw, I need to hold my hand up and down so that my hand is not touching the paper. This allows me to make shapes and draw designs much easier. This is the way an artist learns to draw. Watch when my hand is on the paper, I would smudge my artwork. That's no good. So practice holding your pencil up and down. Notice that as I hold my pencil up and down, I can use my wrist and my whole arm to draw shapes. You look a little confused, but don't worry. Let me show you. First, I'm going to draw the circles and hold my hand the way I would if I was going to write something. Wow, these don't look very good, do they? Now I'm going to try the same circles by holding my hand up and down and using my entire wrist and arm to make the shape of the circle. This might seem uncomfortable at first, and if it does, try this trick. Hold your wrist, and then have your whole arm and wrist and hand move in a circular motion. Just look at the difference. Let's see. Not bad for the first time. Wow, these came out pretty good for circles. Let's keep practicing. Now remember the technique. Hold your pencil up and down. Move your arm, your wrist, and your shoulder in circular motions. Good job so far. Let's take that paper and let's tear it off and crumple it up and throw it away. We need more practicing. Wow. 
Watch me as I slow down. Notice how my whole arm is moving to make an even bigger circle. Now try a really big circle. It's that time again. Rip up your paper and throw it away. But why? You know the saying, practice makes perfect. So let's keep practicing. Wow, teacher, this really does make a difference. You'll know you're done when you have five or six pieces of paper crumpled up, so throw those away. Great job! You've learned how to draw circles. 